Hello friends, it's Lisa, and I am here with a video of books that I have read so far this month, including the books that I read for Readorama. So I've read four books so far this month, and my goal was, uh, I have eight books on my list, so I have four books on the side that I'm going to finish um, later in March, but for now I wanted to do a mid-month check-in, it's a little past mid-month, I don't know and show you what I've read and then show you what I read for Readorama. So the first book I finished this month has nothing to do with Readorama, but I finished A Torch Against the Night by Saba Tahir and I loved it. I mean this was a really really good story. I couldn't put it down. I enjoyed um, both An Ember in the Ashes and A Torch Against the Night so much and looking forward to a third book that's coming out, so I hear. And um, yes, it's a library book, so I wanted to show you and tell you that I loved it and that I am going to definitely be reading the next book in the series. The next book I finished this month is The Doll Maker by Harriet Arno, and I'm going to do a separate review on this story, but for now I'll just let you know that I won this in a drawing and I included this for Readorama as the R-A-M-A -A. so you have the R-A-M-A -A in the doll maker and I enjoyed this book it took me a little while to get through um, but it was a very interesting story about a single mom and uh, coming from the back hills of Kentucky and boy was that language hard to get through um, just like the slang and all of that, it it's, was so foreign to me. I just It took me a while to get into that language, and then once I did, I, I loved it. So I don't think it's for everybody. It's, it's a long read. It's interesting, but in a historical way, and I took my time getting through it, and I'm glad I did, but again, it may not be for everyone. The writing was a little difficult for me in the language, but like I said in... Uh, general, it was a good story. Next book for Readorama that I read is The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. This has been sitting on my shelf for a really long time, and I've heard so many great things about it, and I'm so glad I finally picked it up. I liked the story. Um, I was very intrigued with the action. It kept you interested. I'm not sure if I'm going to pick up the second book. I did like it, but again, I'm not sure I liked it enough to pick up what's coming next. Um, I did think it was good though and interesting. So for Readorama, this was for the first book of a series that I included this. And then for the initial that is the same as yours, in the book, the princess, her name is Leah, L-I-A, and my name is Lisa, so um, it fit two of those categories for Readorama. And the fourth book that I read so far this month has nothing to do with Readorama either, and I just needed to pick it up for the hype of it, Every Heart a Doorway by Sheenan McGuire. And this was probably one of the weirdest stories I've ever read. Very strange, like if I were to maybe go back and look at it again. Maybe I'd get it a little more, but I just, I didn't. I was <laughs> reading this and I'm like, this is really just very strange. There's a glare on it. Sorry about that. Um, I'm not going to say anything about the story because it's, it's a really short read and I don't want to ruin anything of it if you're interested in reading it still. So I'm glad that I read it, but again, so strange and, um, what else can I say? It's very weird. So those are the four books that I've read so far this month. Two of them were for Readorama and met three criteria. So I have three books still left on my list for the month, and I'm not sure if I'm going to fit them in or um, sign up for Borrowathon. I do have a couple of books from the library that I need to get read, so. I have to go, I have to look up to see when Borrowthon is. If it's really soon, then I will read those two for Borrowthon. And if it's not for another week or whatever, then I'll finish the three books that I had on my list for March. So excited for the first day of spring being yesterday. Um, 
I am looking forward to getting back into working my little free library now that the nice weather is coming. I have had just a few visitors over the winter and with the amount of snow that we were getting, it was just hard for anyone to get <laughs> anywhere. So I have a bunch of donations that I need to go through and I I'm really looking forward to getting the word out there again to my neighborhood about my little free library, putting some relevant books in there to see, you know, catch people's attention. I do have a Facebook page for that, um, but again, it's local, so, but I'll link that down below. And I have a book haul coming up soon because my dearest friend Krista decided to bring me to a book sale. I've been trying not to buy books, but there's a store called Savers and the books were for $1 and I couldn't resist. I was free and I went with Krista and Krista's from Books and Jams. I'll link her down below. We had a great time. I think both of us bought like six or seven ish books. We didn't go crazy. Um, but it was fun, and I think the both of us could have just stood there for hours looking at <laughs> all the selection of books, even though it really wasn't that big. But I did find some really great books, and I'm excited to show them to you soon. So for today, I hope you all enjoy your day. Do something kind for someone. Smile at someone. Make someone's day. Take care. Bye.